back. How about this? A Las Vegas man died broke, penniless, because of crooks he thought were his friends. And luckily, the con artists have since been caught. News 3's Kelsey Thomas joins us with more on this story. Kelsey? Well, Jessica Elliott Smith spent decades serving the kins of Clark County. Money wasn't easy. He needed what little he had. In his old age, he also needed friends, but two friends stole nearly every last penny from Smith, and now they're going to prison. Elliot Smith and his wife Susan saved their entire lives. And these are people who were, you know, raised during the Depression. Smith worked hard as a head custodian for the Clark County School District. They didn't waste anything. They were very careful with their money. Sue and Dave Swikert say as Sue's dad got older, he thought he had saved hundreds of thousands of dollars to help care for his wife once he died. He had a school district retirement, a military retirement. But Smith died broke because of two people he thought were his friends. Craig Ballou, a retired science teacher, and Ivy Rasmussen, a former middle school guidance counselor. Craig became his best friend because they played golf together. In 2008, Smith moved in with a couple. Within months, they had access to his bank accounts, spending thousands on food, booze, fancy cars, clothes, and big screen TVs, as Smith was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. When Elliot was in the hospital, they went out and spent his money. This is just a drop in the bucket. Leaving behind a paper trail of 500 receipts, adding up to more than $82,000. They just took took everything my parents had. Then Smith's wife had a stroke and they realized there was no money to pay for her medical bills. Ballou and Rasmussen convicted of stealing more than $150,000 from Smith. Smith died in 2010 at 84, about a month before the couple was arrested. He broke down and cried and that was the first time in 40 years I'd seen him cry. His final days left with a painful memory of the betrayal. His best friends had stolen everything from him. Blue and Rasmussen told the jury that Smith willingly gave them access to his money because he was a generous man. They were each sentenced to 8 to 20 years in prison. In studio, Kelsey Thomas, News 3. God.